Hello and welcome back. This is Candice from Candoodle and today we're going to be making this CrossFit themed thank you card with some products from the new Lawn Fawn release. We're going to be using the Snow Much Fun stamps and coordinating dies as well as the Waving Pull Tab Starter, the Starry Sky Stencil, MFT Wonky Stitched Rectangles, and the Stamp Market Thanks Die. I'm just going to start off by cutting that largest rectangle with my die cutting machine which is going to serve as our card front. I'm then taking my new mini media mat from Waffle Flower and we are going to use that to do some distress oxide inking on. So I'm just using Salty Ocean, Mermaid Lagoon, and Broken China, and I just want it to kind of be a soft ombre background. As you'll see, I wasn't fully happy with how this last color looked blended, but I did go back and blend some Mermaid Lagoon over top of the Broken China, and I like that a lot better. I'm just taking a baby wipe and quickly wiping off that mat, and it cleans so easily. I can't wait to keep using this in my craft room. And before we continue, I am going to heat set that, just because Distress Oxide inks tend to take a little bit longer to dry, and I did didn't want to smear it at all moving forward. So I am just taking my waving pull tab starter dies and cutting them apart with my pliers because this is my first time using them. And I'm taking that long die and setting it up at the top where I want the little indent to go that's going to be the place where you put your fingers to pull the tab. As I taped it down, I realized it was now in the way of the stencil, so I am moving my tape, and I'm just using that little stencil to line up the die that comes with the Snow Much Fun coordinating dies, and that's the piece that is going to cut two little lines so the bear's arms have somewhere to go through. Um, and I am t using my tweezers to take out that stencil piece. You could run it through with, but um, I didn't want it in the way if it didn't need to be. And I'm just now removing all of the tape, and as you can see, it cuts two little lines as well as the top notch, and it didn't cut through all the way, which is my own fault. Um, so I'm just taking my little Fisker scissors and cutting the ends. So at this point, I decided that this background was looking a bit plain, so I decided I wanted to do some embossing on top of it, so I just took my anti-static powder pouch and I used that across the background, and then I'm taking the Starry Sky stencil and applying some Versamark ink with a dauber, and rather than kind of blending over the stencil, I'm really dabbing it to ensure that I have good coverage of that Versamark ink, because this is what's going to hold on to our embossing powder. I don't have a ton of colored embossing powders, but I do have this blue one from Michaels and it is full of glitter. Um, there's actually huge chunks of glitter in it, which I had to take off with my tweezers in certain areas because it was obscuring the pattern. Um, but I overall liked how it looked and it adds a lot of glitter to the background. And I'm just doing it over a coffee filter so I don't make a huge mess on my craft desk. And I am going to heat set that and then our panel is good to go. So now we are going to take the Snow Much Fun stamp set, and I did the die cutting off screen, so I have two arms and the little bear, and I'm just taking the arm and lining it up with that die cut. I just have some scrap paper with some double-sided tape that I put my die cut over top so I could get it in the right position. Sometimes I find die cuts really hard to line up, um, so I like to die cut first and then do my stamping if at all possible. And I'm just stamping with some obsidian black ink from Gina K because we are going to Copic color these. So once my arms are stamped, I am just going to move on to the bear and do the same thing. The bear doesn't have any arms because you can actually have mix and match. They have a few different arm sets that can go with the main bear in the stamp set, which is why I really, really like it. And so now I am moving on and I'm actually going to do something a bit different here. So this is my trace table, which I have an Artograph light pad. Um, you definitely don't need one of these, but I am a calligrapher, so I do use this quite a bit in my craft room. So I have two kettlebells that I just drew on a scrap sheet of paper, and then I am going to draw them on my heavier weight cardstock that I usually use for my stamping. Um, the light table just makes it easier to do the tracing because there is that backlight, but you could definitely do this over a window or even use an old picture frame with an LED like push to start light bulb underneath. Um, I had a really old Crayola trace desk that I literally got when I was like seven for Christmas and I used it up until a couple of years ago when the light burnt out and I couldn't find another one. So I invested in a proper light table, which is worth its weight in gold as far as I'm concerned. Um, so I didn't show too much footage of that just because my big head was getting in the way. As you could see, I went to look back at the footage once I was done and I was like, oh, great. But basically I just used my scrap paper, put it underneath and then traced the kettlebells on my 
um, heavier weight cardstock, and that's because I didn't have any sort of weights or anything that I wanted this bear to hold, but my friend asked me to make a CrossFit themed card, so I did have to get creative and adapt um, to not using stamps. So I did the best I could, but if you're uncomfortable with that, you could definitely also print out some like clip art things um, from online of pictures of weights or anything like that. I know Lawn Fawn also has a little um, agenda planner stamp set that has some weights in it. I just don't own that one. Um, so I've basically now babbled through the entire coloring, but um, all the colors have been listed on the screen. And with Copics, I generally go from lightest out to darkest and then darkest back into the lightest um, just to make sure that I have good coverage and everything like that. And so I'm now just coloring the kettlebells and those are the last things that I have left to color before we move on to assembling the card. So with interactive mechanisms, I generally like to cut two of the arm piece because it is what somebody's going to be pulling on. So I just like to use my lawn fawn glue to stack those so it's a bit sturdier. Um, and this is the main pull tab piece. And then this is the belly band that goes around it at the top to kind of act as a stopper so you don't pull the bear's arms completely out of the card. So now those little X's um, are on the arms and you want those to be facing up. And Lawn Fawn has a really great video. You couldn't see it that well um, in mine, but the X's are at the top. And then I threaded those through the holes in our front panel. And then I am just lining up that arm piece with the top notch so that it is gonna pull out very nicely. And then I'm just using some double-sided, really strong tape um, to adhere that belly band in the stopping place. Um, so this is, again, just so the arms don't completely pull out of the card. You could definitely use liquid glue for this, um, but I was worried it would squirt out and accidentally glue the arm to the card. So I generally tend to use double-sided tape for these sorts of things. And there we can see the arms are moving and grooving perfectly. So I am just now going to take that little piece um, that is for the pull tab and it has a little arrow. So I'm just going to glue that down with my Lawn Fawn liquid adhesive and it is white. And I realized that wasn't super obvious um, that the arrow was there and I lost the arrow somewhere on my craft desk. So I did cut another one and I just covered it with a Copic marker that kind of matched the background color um, just so that the arrow is a little bit more obvious and then I use my adhesive eraser because some of the adhesive kind of spilled over. So now I am going to be attaching my bear and I'm just putting liquid glue on his legs and head and then putting it on the card base. Um, that way I'm being really careful not to accidentally glue him to the arms which would then make the arms not move. Um, and then I am going to carefully use my liquid glue to attach the little kettlebells to his hands. And again, I'm just being very careful and using my tweezers to scrape away any rogue adhesive because I don't want my arms to be glued down to the card by accident. Um, and I'm just checking and everything is moving well, so we are good to put this on the card. So I'm just going to pop this up with some foam tape, and as you can see, I am almost at the end of my roll. So I just wanted to show you how I use my foam tape and store it. So on the left is my big mama roll, which I am now like almost 75% of the way through. So I actually store that somewhere so it's not in the way and doesn't get all gunky. And when I do need to fill up the roll that I keep at my desk, that is usually a little bit smaller, I just kind of wind it around like a cassette and that way I have some foam tape in my desk, but not a ton because I find it can get gunky, like things can kind of stick to it. Um, so I just find that easier for storage purposes because my drawers in my craft desk aren't very large. Um, so I thought I'd show that. So now the card is fully assembled and his arms are working and we just need a sentiment to finish this all off. So I decided that I like this second thanks better than the thank you. And I wasn't sure if I wanted it to be white with black on top or black with white on top. So I made one of both and then I kind of hemmed and hawed about it and I tested one and then the other and I still couldn't really decide. So I took it into the other room and showed my mom and sister and we made the executive decision that the black on white looked better because it matched his kettlebells more. Um, and so that once it's assembled is the final card and we have a little bear who is swinging around kettlebells um, so i thought it was a cute variation of the snow much fun stamp set thank you so much for stopping by i really appreciate the time that you spend here with me don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see all of my future uploads you can also follow me over on instagram at candoodle creations and i will see you in next week's video bye